We have seen in the previous video uh, the spectra of the demo um, data uh, from 1100 to 2500 nanometers uh, but uh, if we look in more detail we see a big separation uh, between the spectra this is due not to chemical reasons just uh, to physical reasons uh, to the scatter effect that is uh, typical in the diffuse reflectance uh, instruments so we have to treat this data uh, this spectra in order to correlate better the different wavelengths uh, and the laboratory data before to do that be sure that you have installed the package uh, Chemometric with R available from R and uh, once installed it's only you only have to write library Chemometrics with R and it's uh, working so let's apply a AMA treatment called multiple scatter correction uh, and it's quite easy let's give the name to the new spectra just in the near infrared area we are only to work with this part of the spectra uh, and you only write MSC and the name of uh, the part of the near infrared spectra is uh, NIR so it's it's already we don't have uh, we don't get any errors it's already done next is to define the NIR MSC as a matrix okay it's already defined and now we apply the command matplot uh, and we uh, use we see that we change this NIR for NIR MSC the new mat treatment and we have the results look now at the spectra uh, it's uh, we have it looks much better it looks much better so we see here uh, that uh, there are of course uh, separation but in this case for example is due to to moisture and to uh, protein uh, protein, fat, uh, and so on, okay?